All right, guys, we're back. Today, we're doing a little bit of trout fishing. And I'm at a local little lake that they stock here. We've got two rods out here, one on each side. Um, we're just trolling some grubs to start off with. I'll show you the rig later on in the video. But yeah, I'm here with Nick Fish. He's already caught one. Um, they kind of, this lake has kind of been shut down for a little while. Um, and especially the kayaks you haven't been able to access. So I'm hopeful that there's quite a few fish in here, hopefully. We're gonna troll around. We're starting with grubs. I have some other stuff too that um, I'll try if this doesn't work. But yeah, we're gonna see what we can find. How far down? Um, before it turns to the left. Okay, right over there. Yeah, I think I was in that. Scene. I was marking some fish over there too. They're uh, really individual marks. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's a bite, here's a bite. Come on. Come on. Nice. Finally. That looks good like a good one. Yeah, I think it's all right. All you needed is a little bit of nip rock. <laughs> Just needed to go past Nick. You should have told me earlier, I would have stayed next to you. I marked, I marked it too, but I wasn't sure if there was a field of bubbles coming up. Yeah. Finally, we're on here. It took us a while. We've been trolling for about two, actually two and a half hours already. It doesn't feel like it's been that long, but I guess it has. Um, did a few circles around, trying different depths to figure out where the fish are. Um, it's always a uh, like a puzzle you got to figure out um, really any kind of fishing but especially for some reason trout they're just so like specific on depth and uh, bait presentation all that kind of stuff um, so really it's all a puzzle it's, it's a nice one nice colors on this fish Get him around the front. Make sure he's clear of all of our mirage driving and everything. Oh yeah, wow, he looks so nice. Doesn't look anything like your normal uh, planter trout. Come on in. There we go, got him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, before I do anything, I'm gonna put him on the stringer. Dang. Don't think he was gonna come off. Okay. Look at that thing, dude. Nice too. colors. Yeah, they're why? nice. They've probably been in here for a while. Maybe that's why. Why is yours darker? I have no idea. Spawning? Maybe. Maybe this is a female, this is a male. I don't know. Mine's more chrome. <laughs> yeah, yours Yours is more closer to a salmon. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, the lure is in your head? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, guys, there he is right there. A nice little rainbow trout. This is like typical planter size, nothing huge. Probably like maybe two pounds or so, but really nice colors, honestly. Usually they don't look this nice. Um, tail's like almost full, and uh, you got spots all the way up and down. Nice like pink in there. Nice a rainbow trout stalker. Yeah, for a fish of his size, he fought pretty good. And uh, I think we might have figured something out. I got him in a, a similar area to where Nick got one earlier. So this might be the money zone right in here. We're gonna try to troll back through here a couple of times and see if we can get another one. 
All right, guys, we're back trolling again. Like I said, it's it's kind of a a uh, puzzle we have to figure out. So because this one um, was the heavier weight that I was using of the two, I put an even heavier one on this one to try and go a little bit even deeper to see if that's where they are. And uh, we'll see if that makes a difference. Before I was using lighter weight on this one, heavier weight on this one. So switching up a little bit, trying to just dial it in. Um, if I catch another one on this one, maybe that's the like ideal weight. And I'll just put the same on both, both rods. Um, but I'm still trying to figure out when one fish, one fish could be a fluke, two or three could be more of a, a, a pattern. So yeah, try a little heavier weight on this one, trolling a little deeper. And then uh, do the same thing with this one again, because this one obviously caught the fish, so I don't want to change that. That's kind of like my constant. And uh, yeah, see if we can get another one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There we go. We got him. That feels like a good one. Yeah, that feels like a good one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Feels like a good one. I think it's bigger than the first one. Let's see what with this one we got here. So I don't know if you noticed, but it's probably hard because both of the fish have been on this side kind of off the camera. Um, but when I'm trolling, I don't really, I don't like set the hook or anything. The, the troll itself is usually enough to bury the hook in the fish's mouth. Um, usually I just, if I see a bite, I'll just keep trolling forward, um, and usually that's enough to set the hook. Um, doesn't seem to be the problem, but I don't know. If you guys have better ways of doing it, feel free to do it your way, but that's just what, what has worked for me. So let's see, this is on the same setup. So we're, we're putting the pieces of the puzzle together. I think this might be the, the uh, go-to weight here, so I'm gonna put the same thing on the other rod after I get this one up, because I also had I didn't show you, I also had one other bite that just went, like kind of bounced and didn't get hooked um, on this same rod. Nothing so far on this one. So I think this is the, the way to go weight wise. Oh, big head shakes. Oh, big head shakes. Big head shakes. Oh, there he goes, taking off. So I'm using super light line, four pound test, which is why I can't really horse him in any more than I'm doing right now. He's kind of just going wherever he wants to at the moment. Um, I've had some people ask me that before. Oh, he's on the surface now. He's on the surface now. I'm gonna sit up here. Let's see what we can do here. This feels like a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, he's a feisty one too. Come on this side, this side. Oh no. Man. This is like, almost like fighting a salmon. I'm trying to get him to the other side. Cause I prefer netting on this side. Also the cameras are all set up for this side. But he keeps wanting to go back to the other side. I'm gonna have to force him a little bit. I shouldn't say force him, I'm gonna guide him in. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, it's a nice one. Nice fish. Get my net ready, oh no, no, no. So anytime he's coming next to the boat, you want to get your line away from the kayak. You can see I'm push, putting even the tip of my rod in the water. Um, and that's to keep it away from any rudders. Because I have one rudder in the back and then my pedal drive in the front, which are both sitting down in the water. I don't want them to get wrapped up in there. Um, but if I can, oh, yeah, this is a good one. I can tire him out enough where he'll just kind of guide right into the into the net. Super fun fight on light tackle.
All right, come on in. Nope, not yet, not yet. Nope, nope. I am really just at a stalemate right now. Come on. Okay, here we go. We're tiring him out. Slowly tiring him out. Slowly but surely. We're gonna get him to go right into the net here. Tense moments. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Ah, dang. Oh man, this is a good fighter. He's actually, I've caught bigger fish that didn't fight this much. Not really sure why. There we go, got him. Into the net. Whew, that took a while. About an eight minute fight there. Oh, what a catch. <laughs> That was close. All right, guys, there's our two fish right there. This is the one we just caught. This was a really good fighter. It's got even a little hook jaw there. I think this is a male. Actually, I think they both might be males. Um, but anyways, really good fighter there. Probably about a, a four pounder or so. And to go with our other one, a little, maybe two pounder or so. Um, but yeah, both really good fish. Both fought really well. Usually the stock fish, I don't know, in my experience, don't fight as well. But for whatever reason, maybe because it's a little bit colder right now, these two seem to fight, fight pretty well. Um, but yeah, now that you've seen the fish, let me show you exactly how we're catching them. All I'm using is a little, tiny little egg weight. This is a Carolina setup. So a tiny little egg weight. I think that's like a 1 8 ounce with a bead, a swivel, and then, I don't know, four or five foot liter of four pound fluorocarbon, super light. You don't, honestly, you probably don't need to go that light for these planter fish. They're not super line shy, but I don't know, I like to fight him. I like to fight when it's uh, a little bit lighter tackle. And then a little eight, number eight um, octopus hook. And then on this hook, you just put your favorite grub, whatever you want to use, curly tail, paddle tail, whatever. I've signed that they all work. Today I'm using a chartreuse uh, grub, but honestly I've used white before, orange, all different colors, they all work. Whatever you like the most or whatever, whatever you have the most confidence in, um, I would recommend. And then, yeah, just putting it back. Like I said, just figuring out that depth. I mean, I've tried different weights up and down the water column, and this seems to be working the best. To be honest, uh, these kind of stock trout, they'll hit, they're, they're not too particular on what they'll eat. They're a little less finicky than the native or wild trout, but this is what I like to use. Seven foot ultralight. This one, you've seen many times, I actually used it in a previous video for perch fishing on the beach. Not really ideal for surf fishing, but for trout fishing, I really like it. And then this one is my ultra, it's technically an ultralight seven foot from a QI fishing or ray fishing. Um, and technically it's an ultralight, but I think it's even really lighter than ultralight. Super bendy tip. And I have a, it's the, the rod itself is super light and I have the smallest reel that I own a 500 uh, Shimano Sedona. So if you want to get this setup or the other setup, I'll leave all my gear linked in the description. You are welcome to click those links. You are more than welcome to click those links because those help the channel out. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. This is just the beginning of uh, trout fishing here in the Bay Area. Generally speaking, the best months for trout are the winter months. So starting with maybe late October, early November, December, January, February, probably into March and April um, as well. So if you have a question, feel free to leave a comment below. I'm sure I'll be doing more trout videos. I'll uh, do my best to answer some of those questions in future videos. Um, and other than that, I really appreciate you guys' view. Thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.